Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my let's play of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, now this isn't carrying on from where we was before with the mission control mod uh, which added sort of like a career mode based around money. Uh, no, uh, they released career mode ages ago now. Yes, I, I am very much on a delay, uh, but let's start the game. I do have one mod installed and that is uh, the mech jet. Now, but the mech jet is actually properly set up to work with the career mode. You actually have to unlock it, which I was slightly disappointed at because I wanted to use it just for the sort of grindingness of the. I, you know, I like the first time I get into it. I, I, I'm always proud of that all with a new design. Uh, but when you feel like you're having to run the same mission again, you know, nothing different, just repeating it. That's when I tend to get bored, so hopefully we'll unlock enough mech jet bits so that we'll be able to... I'll probably actually aim for the mech jet bits. And then we can... You know, sort of... Like, there's, there's one bit where it helps you get into orbit. It basically puts yourself, puts you into orbit. And that's brilliant. Well, I'll let that run, and we can probably go off and... On the stream, anyway, play a different game while we're waiting for that to happen. And on the actual YouTube videos you guys are watching... Uh, well, it's... Uh, what I would probably end up doing is using the mech jet parts uh, to automate parts of a mission which would normally be edited out on most people's YouTube Let's Plays. You know when they like say, oh yeah, well we've seen ourselves take off and go into orbit 500 times already so we're not going to uh, do that and you know, you cut and then they're in orbit. That's probably what I'll do or else. When, effectively, when you're not watching me, I'll turn on the autopilot. <laughs> uh, but of course, my player name is Dr. Nick Doom. I never started the timer. Oh, I did start the timer. I didn't start it on the stream, though, so people can see. Apparently that didn't save, and um, yeah, they're, they're not getting a countdown timer. I'll try and sort out that later. I'm hoping I can change this afterwards. I forgot to put on the little thing for my own flag. Uh, so let's for now just take the black squad flag, and then we'll swap out to our own later on. Which chat's being stupid. Can we please pop out the chat? I, w I would like it if we could. It's in a separate window, but it's not technically popped out. Don't ask me how the hell that worked. Um, but let's start. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, this looks different. <laughs> okay, they've redesigned what this place looks like. I'm guessing this is still launch control, because it leads out there. This will be the hangar bay. That's the satellite that she said. That's the only thing that we check what's in orbit. This will be, I guess, for science, because it looks like it's got a, uh, a science -y dome. Let's just, yes, this is science. And the first uh, step that we have to get on science is, ooh, five science. I don't think that's that much. It's the first time playing with this, you know, science -y feature, but it's fine. Oh, yes, they've added in. Now, this is one of the things I added in with mods on the last Let's Play. And... Uh, Effectively, I think it's basically the same, but yeah, you have your curbins here. I believe they can be... Oh, I was under the impression you could rename them. I think you can rename them outside the game, and we probably will do that. If you guys want to be in, uh, drop me a line on the YouTube video, and we'll probably replace some of these guys with your guys' names. So, same as the XCOM, you can watch me try not to kill you. <laughs> Uh, let's come out there for now. We've got our, our first free. That's fine with me. We've got enough Kerbins there. Now, I think this is a bit cheesy, but we only need five science for the um, first unlock. So I'm just going to launch with an empty command pod. With a, just a command pod. Oh, no. Help if I actually click launch and not um, out. Sorry, I misclick. So obviously we're not going to go anywhere with this mission. Uh, we have no fuel, we have no thruster, we have no nothing. But Jebediah... Um, let's see. Control from here, rename vessel. Top crew report, please. Crew report. There we go. And we can transmit that for 100%, so we might as well. I have no device to transmit it. That's fine, I think you'll just store it. Actually, no, just in case. Uh, space center, revert flight. No, I want to end the flight. Abort isn't actually... Yeah, I didn't set anything up to do that. 
Come on, there's no more stages left. Oh, like, screw it, screw it. EVA. Come out of here, Jebediah. Click on here, take an EVA report. Uh, keep data. Now, jump off the little pod. No, off. There we go, you're off. And I believe we can take a soil sample from here. Surface sample, yes. Uh, keep the data. EVA report again. Um, we'll keep what we had. Click off there. Jebediah, jump back in. Come on. Board. There we go. Now if we end the flight. Okay, where was the end flight button? There was one. I'm sure it used to be just on the escape. Resume flight space center. Screw it. I'll go to the space center. I know I can end the flight this way. And we'll go to the orbiter controls. Recover. Yeah, recover. Are you sure you want to recover this vessel? Yes, recover it. Now, let's see. We got 16 science from that, so done. Come out of here. And if we go to the science lab now, we've got more than enough to buy that first level there. So let's research this. And what do we have here? Basic rocketry. How much science is this one costing? 20. I think we... Might even be able to get basic rocketry before we actually fly. Oh, that requires basic rocketry. Oh no, wait. General rocketry, yeah, but still needs 20. Stability, again, needs 20. Survivability. Landing stroke, extra parachute. We will need that quite quickly, but I think we're going to go down the general rocketry, and I'm just going to quickly repeat the mission that we just did. Uh, with a slight difference. Let's give us ourselves a a way to communicate back. And let's stick a pod on there as well, because I think that gets you some science. But there we go. <laughs> Don't need a parachute. There we go, let's launch again. <laughs> the Twitch is suggesting for me to take survivability first to save the Kerbin's lives, but... The first missions are only going to need but one small parachute because this is all I'm going to be bringing back, like weight-wise. And I'm pretty sure that they should be able to survive. Yeah, the, the one parachute should be able to get this back down. Uh, take a crew report. Come on, click the button. That is worth 0.6 science, so might as well keep it. There's nothing else to do from there, so let's take an EVA. Oh, yep, yeah, fell off. It's fine with me. Come here, Jeb. Take a soil sample. It's worth two. Um, keep the data. EVA report, worth two points something again. Keep the data. Can I check the goo? Do I have to do that from out here? Or is it, you know, an in there job? Okay, let's get back in. I think I might have to be inside the pod to check the goo. Which seems stupid. I should have to go outside to check the goo. There we go, we're inside. Observe the goo. That's only another three. Uh, but we'll keep the data. If we end the mission now, now there has to be an actual way to, hmm, has to be a way to end the flight from here. Oh, recover vessel, there it is. Sorry, that's new actually, that's new from, well, the last version of this game that I played. Ah, uh, we got an, oh, you're kidding me, we got up to 19, I need 20 for what I wanted. <laughs> uh, do the same again then. I think maybe just checking the goo should be enough and recovering. But I really, really do want goo. Observe the mystery goo. Uh, 1.3, keep the data. Let's do a crew report again, although it's really worthless now. Go on, I'm clicking it. There we go. Keep the data. Do a little... No, not IVA. Uh... Jeb, out of here, please. Uh, resume flight, that's fine. I, uh... Okay, this is one thing I... <laughs> I like being in here. But it's been that quite long since I've played. I can't remember how to get out. <laughs> I may actually check up the 
proper controls in between episodes because this is dumb. There we go. We'll control from there. So that should be me out of the IVA. Yes. <laughs> what I wanted you to, Jeb, is to go EVA. Got out. Okay, my mouse isn't actually lined up 100% properly with where it should be. Uh, so this is a little bit of a problem. I have to click lower than what I'm supposed to do. Like EVA report is here. There uh, we go, keep the data. Take a surface sample. Keep the data, jump back in the craft. FF. Go, there we go. And now, and now I know I can recover the vessel from here. So have we got 20 science now? Have we got 20? We got 21. Done. Good. So let's go to our little science hexagon. And we're going to pick up even better rockets. I think basically... Yeah, the, the big solid boosters. Max engine power. I think these are side mounted. And a better engine. So let's research that. This is unlocked advanced rocketry, bigger fuel tank and another type of engine, and general construction. I think we're looking for advanced control or basic control for the first mechjeb type things, but they're 45 science. At the moment we're getting nowhere near enough for that, so that's probably not going to do us, do us too good. But let's come out of here. And now we actually have to build a rocket proper. Now I've got a few more parts. So, no. Yep. Oh, it scrolls go up, yeah. Sorry, I'll remember that. Force of habit, although I know I'm not gonna be building one that big, to put the um, ship like right up at the top. Can I take the little antenna, please? And the pod, goo pod. I know it's gonna off balance me, but I think I can counteract for that. Uh, first job. Oh, sub-assemblies. I added sub-assemblies in as well. First job is we need a parachute. And I think that should be okay. I think that should get us... I think that should get... Yeah, we should be able to get back down from the space. Right, we do have a decoupler, don't we? Stack decoupler, yes. And we don't have any SAS at all. No. <laughs> so what do we have? Uh, solid boosters. Now I can quite easily get us into space with just these solid boosters. In fact, I can most likely get us a whole orbit just with these solid boosters. Uh, but we do have liquid fuel ones, so we'll... Let's... One... Two... Let's just go with two there for a moment now. We're looking for in vacuum efficiency for these engines because they're most likely going to be used. Uh, 370, 370. So these two engines have the same fuel efficiency. ISP, I believe that's fuel efficiency. But this one has vectoring. Yeah. So let's give it the vectoring engine. In fact, I'll probably use a vectoring engine all the way. Coupler on there, we'll repeat that stage. Come down. I'm gonna have to learn how to use the sub assemblies. They wasn't in the version I was used to, in fact, no. Yeah, vectoring as well, because we don't have any fins or anything like that, so we need some way to control the stability of this thing. Uh, do we have any uh, sideways decouplers? We don't. Okay, then in that case need another stack decoupler. Let's stick a solid booster on the bottom of here. Now this is a very long, thin, stupid thing. Uh, you are a small canister filled with what appears to be solid rocket fuel. Something like that. <laughs> You are the big booster, then we separate. You are them little ones. Uh, let's add in another stage and separate out the liquid fuel one there. I just want to see whether they work. I've not used them that much before. And I think we'll be okay. Now this is a very...
more design, but it's just a quick one. So that's that decoupler. As I hover over it, you can see it sort of lights up and just shows you where it is. There's the engine under there. Then it goes to this decoupler and the parachute. Unentitled spacecraft. Why me? That's what any Kerbin who gets put in this craft is going to be thinking. Just why the hell me? And I forgot to update the uh, Twitch on what it was. I actually read it in the Let's Play name and changed the episode na name, but I forgot to click update. Uh, let's. Wait, why can't I launch this? Oh, it can. Good. Have we saved it? Uh, save. Yes, yeah, save as the why me, then launch. Okay, this is a very long, thin, sausagey thing. We do have a bit of SAS, it's not really going to be enough. I'm going to try and control this myself. Jeb, please don't die. And... Launch. Now that's a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I've got the volume turned down for the engines more than anything else, but... I still expected it to be quite loud with it being a solid rocket booster. I really would like some... Sideways decouplers, I forget what you call them. I have a proper name, I think. Uh, yeah, correct yourself, you're coming off. Course. Damn it, we're leaning. Oh, of course, we're leaning to the goo a little bit. Oh, no, wait, 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 sorry. Get down to go up on the ball. <laughs> Basic flights here, inverted controls, you know, gotta remember that. I do like how it toggles the SAS on and off as I'm doing the controlling. That's there, not enough. So, best get the liquid engine going as well. In fact, they was that small and that crappy, they didn't even last. But now we should be going up fine. I, I, I hope we can get to orbit. I might just... Might, we might just get up high. Now, I probably should be looking at doing a gravity turn and all nice stuff like that. But for now, I'm happy just trying to get a ride. Um, Jeb, Ashley, can you uh, crew report? Keep data, check the goo, Mr. Goo. Uh, keep the data. There we go. Now, but, but yeah, there's no chance in hell we're getting into orbit with this. <laughs> I think I could have done a better job with just the solid rocket boosters, but I also believe things have had a good bit of rebalancing, you know, on how much weight and thrust and everything like that uh, between this and the last version I've played so I am having to take a guess at how the parts work but yeah 16,000 I think what we're going to do here is try for a bit of a gravity turn come on, stay at 45 I don't know how optimal this setup was. I actually got quite, got, I actually did get quite lazy and just like using the mech jet. <laughs> uh, when we get up to about half our fuel, like actually, let's check the orbit. Yeah, nowhere near. <laughs> then we get to about half our fuel, oh, let's turn resources on. I actually like prefer looking up there than I do down here to sort of work this out. Once we're in orbit, I wouldn't mind. How high are we getting? Oh, 100,000. Crap. M. X. Cut the engine. We can just coast for periapsis now, and we should be okay. No, 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 no. TT. Reset the SAS on that location, please. Go to M. We're 120. We're well above the atmosphere. We should be able to circleize circulize from there. Now I also never really used to use the maneuvers. But let's add a maneuver. And basically, no no no, not slow down. Basically we just want a crap ton of thrust until we get a proper orbit. Uh, how far is that out? 32, 32 is not enough. If I click on there, it will stay on. Now I want the control from this maneuver. I want to be able to see 
Let's go for another 120. Are you kidding me? Oh, 145. Because I went too far. Yes. 120, 110. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's come out of here. I believe this little blue thing is where I have to aim at to... To do this burn? No, can we turn this way please? Back up a bit. Let's look at... It's SAS on there. Um, it's gonna be a... 30 second burn-ish, I believe. Now, to me, it makes sense noting T seconds that you fire at the node, but I've been told that a, you know, firing halfway before and after the node is probably going to be better. Oh, wait, no, X. I thought X kept it fully powered, but didn't. Damn it. Okay, we are going to have to burn up again. We're at about 30 seconds now, so if we just wait another 15. Come on. I, I would love to walk, but that's probably going to be a bit a bit stupid to walk this quickly. You know, we're only like seconds away, so... At 50, we seem to be on our line of where we need to be. Let's put this up. Estimated burn is 20-something seconds, so it was correct for us. And when we get this number down to zero, we should be good. And... Yeah, probably went a little bit earlier. The engine was going a little bit quicker than we expected. We went at 15. I don't think it's going to be 15 by the time we get to here. Oh, uh, why did my thing just change around? Are we in orbit, though? 110. 120. Yeah, we're easily in orbit. That's good. Very little fuel left, but we're easily in orbit. Crap, have I got enough to get us back out of orbit? Oops. So let's check the goo. Uh, no, I don't want to reset review data. Okay, I'm only going to get 40% of this, I believe. But I reckon in orbit is going to be worth more than transiting up to orbit. So let's transmit 40% of it. Is that going? Warning, not enough charge. Okay, so it didn't all go. Let's observe the mystery goo. Yeah, it's worth a little bit more. We could, probably could have got better for this. Let's take a crew report. Got to overwrite the existing one. Review report. Get 100% at transmitting that. We only need... Does it tell me how much power I need? It doesn't, but let's try it. I know you're saying not enough charge, but... Okay, EVA. EVA report. Keep the data. Get back in. I guess now it's best... Best to land. So let's just flip this around. I'm not going to particularly try to land anywhere... At all, I'm just going to see if we can save Jeb. I would like to not kill Jeb. So, just let's burn retrograde. And... Prottle up. For some reason, he didn't want to let me do it from the orbit menu. Yeah, there we go. We're getting back into the atmosphere. And we've run out of fuel. <laughs> we have properly out of fuel, but we did get back into the atmosphere, so let's eject that. And we should be good to warp. Oh, we're not under... We have no engine. How can we be under acceleration? 
There we go. Wait until we get to around 70, and then I'll slow this down because I don't want to hit the atmosphere at that speed. I know you can get some strange space krakens attack you uh, if you use the warp too close to planets. Um, we should be lighting up red soon. I would think we're now back in the atmosphere. No electrical charge at all. I thought uh, powering up that engine would have uh, gave us some electrical charge, but it apparently doesn't. Uh, so let's let's instead warp again. Oh, now it's so the the, the the very breaky warp. So we we can't do it in space anymore. I forget what they call it, the actual physics warp, that's it. Which means when you go to four, four times speed here, everything that hits you, hits you four times faster. Uh, sorry, not just faster, but stronger. Okay, we are going red, let's just come out of here. Now I am gonna land this in this mission, this episode. And then we'll come back for the next one. And I'll get a chance to talk to the Twitch strap because it looks like a few people have arrived. Hello! I, I, I'll, I'll get properly talking. I have no electricity to... to rotate us about. We, we're pretty much screwed there. Once we stop fire, you know, being on fire... Once we stop being on fire, I'll launch the chute and hopefully we'll just land. Come on. It's burning up the goo. I would love to take a goo rep I, I don't think they do, but I would love to see what the goo said to it being on fire because it's stuck on the outside there. Jebediah's really happy though. Okay, the fire is about just just about gone. Less than 10,000 meters high. Now I'd like to point out that yeah, with the mission control mod and trying to do things for a certain budget, it took me a whole lot many times to try and get you know, actually into orbit. This one with limited tech, uh, but, you know, able to spend what I like. Yeah, we get into orbit. First flight, first time we put an engine on a spacecraft. Jebediah goes up, he comes down, and hopefully he's not dead. Hopefully he's not dead. Uh, 7,000 feet. I didn't check the parachute. Crap, is this a drone chute or is this a main chute? I never really checked. Let's fire it off. It should start slowing us down. Or at least control us to a landing. Where the hell are we landing? In the middle of nowhere. That's okay. Actually, we might land in the water, which I, I would prefer. Because then we're an astronaut, not a cosmonaut. <laughs> Let's see. You've been up there for a whole 20 minutes, Jeb. Has to be a very, very short space flight, that. I think around 500 meters this is going to actually pop out and slow us down. 500? Yes, it is 500. And I can probably risk speeding it up here now. Come on, land. This is, this is the one bit about basically almost the entire game I don't like. When you're moving that slow and you're trying to do something, you're like, basically, I'm, I'm happy for it to land by itself now. You know, just... Do some mass, tell me the chances that I landed it safely. Yep, make Jeb's, uh, Jeb's safe. Let's recover the vessel. Nuclear vassals. I can't, I can't do a uh, thingy voice. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for in this episode. We didn't quite get enough science uh, to uh, unlock the next things, but we'll have another ship in the next episode, and we'll try to do something there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.